Talking about death and resurrection, one of the big issues is in the Old Testament with God is this whole idea of Abraham being commanded to sacrifice his son Isaac. And so I asked Dr. Cope and I said, how can you defend the command of God asking Abraham to kill his son Isaac? Isn't it in itself a form of child abuse? And here's what he had to say. Well, it's always helpful to look at the context when we're asking questions. If we jump right into Genesis 22 and ask this question and don't have any understanding of what has gone before, we'll inevitably be misled in the very asking of the question. For one thing, when God is talking to Abraham about sacrificing his son Isaac, for one, we need to remember that Isaac is the promised child, the miracle child that God has given to Abraham and Sarah. And God told Abraham and Sarah that it would be through this child that the nations of the earth would be blessed, that we would see the blessing coming eventually, of course, in, in, in Jesus Christ, the Messiah, uh, who would bring redemption, who would bring the promise of a new creation uh, to humanity. And so this is what we are looking, this is what Abraham is looking forward to. And so he knows that Isaac is the promised child, that it came about by a miracle, came about being born in the, as, to Abraham and Sarah in their old age. Now, it's also important to remember that when Abraham goes to make the sacrifice, as difficult as you know, this, this strikes us, Abraham is convinced that God is somehow going to bring Isaac back with him. So he tells his servants in Genesis 22 that he and Isaac, he says, we will go and worship and we will return. That's why the author of Hebrews in, in Hebrews chapter 11 says that Abraham believed that God was able to raise the dead. Abraham was convinced that somehow Isaac would accompany Abraham back, that he would not remain dead, but that he would be brought back to life. And so it's important for us to keep in mind that these are significant facts in how God had dealt with Abraham, that, that there was a context, a promise that God had made to Abraham, that God had brought about miracles in Abraham's life to bring this about. And so now, God, that, now that God had fulfilled that promise, God is, you know, it has reminded him that, the, you know, that, the, that sacrificing Isaac is not going to be the end of the, the program, uh, that God has purposes for Abraham, for Isaac, that all the nations would be blessed, through that miracle child. And so that's why Abraham says, we will go and we will return. See, the tough part is the fact that God actually asked Abraham to do that to his son, Isaac. That's, that's, that's the clincher, and that's what people have a lot of problems with. Listen,